what you're going to see me doing here is I'm going to annotate using any strategy I want. Oh my goodness. Any strategy I want in order to summarize at the end of these two pages. Are you all with me? Okay. So you can follow along in your book or you can follow along on the screen. Whatever is easiest for you. Okay. So here is... The introduction. Okay, so in my mind I'm thinking I have three different strategies I can use, right? The five W's, using details first, or what, so what. So as I read, I'm going to be thinking about what strategy could be best for me within the introduction. Capiche? Capiche. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Introduction. In 1941, Young men all over the country were leaving their homes, schools, jobs, and families. They were joining the armed services to fight for freedom and their country during World War II. The men leaving the United States to fight in the war were young, fit, and healthy. Many of these men played baseball, both professionally and for fun. This left the baseball leagues with few players. What could they do? Fourth graders, please move your eyes up to the screen. So for me, the five W's is a strategy I can use easily in order to summarize a paragraph, okay? So I saw that this mainly talked about young men in the United States, okay? I see that something happened to them, that they were sent to fight in World War II. So I'm gonna underline to fight and then in. World War II and label that as a W, okay? And because of that, something happened. So now I'm almost switching to what, so what? So we know the what is that these men were sent off to fight in World War II, but what happened because of that? I see at the end, it said it left the baseball leagues with few players. So I almost use like a combination of two strategies in order to do the main idea here. Can you all drop your pens for me, or pencils for me for a second? Thank you. So watch what I'm gonna do on the side. I'm actually not gonna write a whole sentence. I'm just gonna write important ideas. So on the side, I'm gonna write men left for war. And the next idea that I underlined was that there were few baseball players. graders I see that we're really eager to annotate so finish up that annotation and then please rest your pencils please in front of you I'm gonna move on to the second part of this introduction I'm actually gonna read the whole page and then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna think about those important ideas using any strategy I want okay here we go Philip Wrigley the owner of the Chicago Cubs baseball team was an idea man and he also he was also a rich one he owned Wrigley's gum. He wanted to help America during the war. The factories needed metal, so he donated the aluminum meant to produce his gum wrappers to the, to the government. Wrigley also began to worry about the fate of his baseball team. How could he continue to sell tickets when his star players were off fighting the war? Who was left to play the game America loved? Hey, fourth graders, drop your pencils. I would like you to just pay attention to the board and not annotate it all right now, okay? So it's switched, right? There's a different who on, these, on this page. And I see it's all about, oops, it's all about Philip Wrigley. Now, it tells me here that he owned Wrigley's gum and he wanted to help America during the war, but I know that my whole book is about baseball. baseball. So Philip Wrigley, he's thinking about his baseball team and he's a little bit, Worried because all these men are going off to fight in oh, World War II. So I'm going to think that he's the who, and what is that he is actually worried 
about his baseball team. So on the side, I'm just going to write this small, simple idea. Please drop your pencils. That Wrigley is worried about his team. All right, friends, so now that I have my two important ideas, I have one over here about World War II and the men going off to fight, and I'll put over here I have that Wrigley is worried about his team. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two ideas and I'm gonna put them together into a summary. Are you ready to see it? Okay, I already did this ahead of time, so I'm gonna put it underneath the ladybug. Now, I have two sentences as a summary. It says, during World War II, men who played baseball left to fight in the war. This worried baseball team owners like Philip Wrigley. So readers, today, what you're going to do is you're going to find those different important ideas represented in the paragraphs or in, in the paragraphs of your book. At the end of each chapter, what you're going to do is you're going to take those important ideas and you are going to combine them to create a very simple but strong summary. Did you see me using one strategy? No. No, I used the strategy that worked best for me. Okay, turn back to your partnerships, please. Share with your partners what you're gonna be doing today during um, the guided portion of Lit Excel. Ready, set, talk. I'm good. We're gonna read this chapter.